Hey, what's up everyone? For today's weather term, I figured we would discuss the word CAPE, or Convective Available Potential Energy. Now this is the potential energy for an air parcel to rise. Now this CAPE is all this in the highlighted red. So if you're not sure what this is, this is a skew chart. On the left side here, we have our air pressure in millibars, also used for indicating your elevation, starting with 1,000 millibars, which is sea level, up to 100, which is about 50,000 feet. On the bottom here, you have your air temperature from negative 30 to positive 40 degrees in Celsius. So here, you have an air parcel rising. It comes up and then it hits this little notch, which is called a cap, which is a level of inhibition where air parcel does not want to rise. But once it breaks that point, you hit what is called your LFC, or level of free convection. Now your LFC is only the case so long as your air temperature, which is the left side, is left or colder than your lapse rate, which is this black line. So that means because it is to the left side, your level of free convection, your air parcel will rise till it hits your EL or level of equilibrium, which is this point right here. Your EL or level of equilibrium is when your air temperature comes back up and meets again with your lapse rate. So this is the point where an air parcel or cloud will no longer continue to rise. So let's pretend this is a thunderstorm, which most likely it, likely it would be in this scenario. Your air parcel will begin to rise rapidly from here and continue up to here. Here you're in your higher elevation, 40,000 feet. This is where the jet stream begins, so you would have your anvil up in this height. Now, this with this lapse rate in this cape, it's very strong, so likely you'd have an overshooting top breaking that level of equilibrium from a strong updraft. Now what determines the strength of your cape is one of generally two things. One is simply the height of your cape from how low it begins to how high it goes, and in this case is a very strong cape. You start at fairly low elevation, but it reaches fairly high, so that is one of two things, is the height. Now the second thing is the difference from the lapse rate to the actual air temperature. Let me explain. So let's say your actual air temperature ran t just alongside your lapse rate. Air will rise, but it's not a big difference, because this is what it takes for an air parcel to rise. So if you're just to the left of it, it'll rise, but rise slowly. Now let's say your air temperature was to the right of your lapse rate, so your air temperature went over here. That means sunny skies. There is going to be no reason for air to rise because your air parcel will be warmer than the lapse rate. But as you can see here, for the bulk of it, from here down to here, there is a great difference of like 15 degrees Celsius from your lapse rate to how much colder it actually is. So that is going to cause air to rise quickly and very rapidly. So the previous one I just showed you is one extreme for severe weather. This, on the other hand, is a much more gradual, simple, um, cloudy, and possible some light rain. So you can see here just barely your red line, your air temperature, is just left of your lapse rate, the dotted red line. So there is an area right here for about 15,000 feet where your cloud, you would have clouds forming and rising. Now you can see the blue, if you did not know, is your moisture, your dew point. So you can see there is high end moisture in this point because it is close and riding along your actual temperature. So there will be moisture and clouds forming here and possible rain. But as you can see the difference, there is not much of a gap. So the rising will be slow, nothing of any sort of updrafts. So now let me zoom out and you can compare the two side by side. As you can see, the difference between the two is great. You can see this one would rise from a much lower elevation to a much higher elevation, and the speed at which it would rise would be much, much faster due to the temperature difference. Here, you just have some light rain possibly and some clouds. Here, you'd have severe weather. Other than that, it's really not too complicated. It's just another one of the things that involves severe weather and predicting severe weather, and another thing you read when you look at skew T charts. If you have any other questions about CAPE or any other term you might want to know, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you. I wanted to discuss CAP, or SIN, C-I-N, which is convective inhibition. That is this right here on the skew chart. 
This is where air, in fact, warmed.